now welcome back my dear class 2 student this is a class of accountancy good afternoon everybody now to our topic last day actually we discuss about interest on debenture and tds that is tax deductible as source and how can we record the interest on debenture what is the process of making journal we have seen today we will discuss about writing of discount or loss on issue of debenture writing of discount the same loss on debenture now am i audible to you sourodeep sayon am i audible to you Even seven. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir, you are audible. Thank you. Now you can see. So whenever we actually issue the debentures at a discount, there is a loss. We have seen that. Now suppose there is a two thousand. 10% debentures at the rate of rupees 100 we issue at a discount at a discount of 10% so if we assume that there is a 2000 debentures and total 10% debenture actually and whose nominal value is 100 and we issue the debenture at a discount of 10% means we are selling the product actually the 100 rupees is the product sell value of the product and you are selling it at a rupees 90 so there is a 10 rupees loss okay there is a 10 rupees loss so for 2000 Debenture, how many loss you have get? That is multiplied by ten. That is twenty thousand loss you are making when ever you are issuing the debentures. Right up to that, have you understood? Now, how can write of these losses? How can you write of these losses? What is the procedure of writing of these losses or discount? Okay, now this. this losses we actually shown in the which side that is asset side as a fictitious asset loss on discount on issue of debentures or discount of issue of debentures okay but the company acts 2013 is said that you have to write of this losses before the redemption okay of total principal value of the debenture suppose you are issuing this debenture in the year 2015 and the redemption period is 2020 now before this 2020 you have to write up the losses so which you are you will write up that is your choice But you have to write up before that 2020 because 2020 and is a five year tenure you have issued in the debenture. So your redemption date is 31st March 2020. So before that you have to write up the losses you have already made that is 20,000. Okay. So whenever we issue the debenture at a discount there is a loss and another time you are making losses when there is a you are issuing in discount. At 
loss and another time you are actually making losses. What is that time? That is also we have seen in the last class that is whenever we issue the we actually redeem not the issue whenever we redeem the debentures at a premium okay at a premium that is time you also make the losses okay suppose there is a 100 value actually you have issuing the debenture but you are redeem at a 1500 rupees so there is a 5 rupees loss that is actually called redemption on premium so that time you are also making the losses that losses also we have to return on so <coughs> First, we will just see now how what is the procedure of return of this losses. Now, company loss as per Companies Act 2013, this says if there is a capital reserve, so we have to write up the losses from first from the capital reserve. So, there is a loss of 20,000. 20,000 is a total loss. Now, suppose you have a capital reserve of 10,000 balances there in capital reserve. So, first you write up from capital reserve that is 10,000, then what? There is still 10,000 is left. Now, next, where from you actually you can write up the losses? That is securities premium reserve. Securities premium reserve. Suppose, securities premium reserve value uh, total reserve was that is 7000. So, you are using 7000 here. So, still 3000 is left. So, this 3000 what from you can actually write off? You can write off from statement of profit and loss. You can write off from statement of profit and loss account that is your operating profit ok. So, that is why you can write up. So, first you should write up from capital reserve if there is a whole balance of 20,000. So, total write up can be happened from capital reserve. If the balance is not sufficient, so you can go to the next option that is securities premium reserve. If securities premium reserve balance is not enough, so you can rest of the amount you can write up from the statement of profit and loss account. Okay. Up to that, have you understood? Sourodhi and Sayon, have you understood? <coughs> okay. Yes, sir, understood. Thank you. Now, how can you make journal entry for that? Now, see, first we have whenever there is a losses, we have debited the losses. Now, we have written whenever you return off, we should carry it, ok, the losses. Whenever there is a you are issuing the debenture at a discount, you are writing discount or loss on debentures account debit, but whenever you have to return of this debit losses, you have to carry the account. So, what will be debited? This capital reserve, security reserve, premium reserve and statement of profit and accounts all are carried balance, all are liabilities. So, this liability should be debited because you are actually debiting that, you are actually taking withdrawing money or using the money that. So, your liability will be decreasing. So, you have to debit the thing. That is capital reserve account debit that is 10,000. Next is securities. premium reserve account debit that is 7000 
then statement of profit and loss account we know in the case of company you always use the statement of profit and loss account not the only profit and loss account okay that we have already know that is 3000 to loss on issue of debenture or discount on issue of debenture loss on anything you can write loss on issue of debenture that should be credited and total amount is 20,000 okay so that's journal you have to pass in case of writing on now <coughs> sometimes what happened there is another procedure of writing the discount what is this procedure that is the installment method installment method so installment method there is a two type of installment method one is fixed installment method and another is fluctuating installment method fluctuating installment method one is fixed installment method and one is fluctuating installment method now what is fixed installment method so there is a loss you can find that is rupees 20,000. Now what is the reason that we are using the installment method? Now see what, why you use the fixed installment method. Now you are actually issuing the debenture in the year, I have already told you, in the year 2015 and you will redeem it in the year 2020. So there is a 55 years tenure is there. So, through five years, you will use this fund, whatever you actually received in 2015, but you received the total fund from the debenture holder through issuing the debenture in the year 2015, but you are using for generating income. What purpose you are actually, uh, actually take this for loan? fund from the debenture holder that is debenture issuing debenture is a loan fund okay because there is a interest rate you have to pay okay now in the year 2015 you are using actually getting all the fund in the first year only but you are using this total 2000 into 100 that is 2 lakh rupees <coughs> of the 5 years and you are generating some income in the first year, some income in the second year, some income in the third year. So, you are already learned in the class 11, there is a concept that is called matching concept. Matching concept. Now, what does matching concept actually says? Matching concept actually says about that your revenue should be matched with your expenses. If you write up all the losses in a particular year, so that will be not actually right process, okay. If you write up whole of the amount in a particular year, that will be the right process. So there is a matching concept come, under matching concept, what matching concept actually says? Matching concept says your revenue should be matched with your expenses. So as you are generating income this fund from this fund each and every year for something so your expenses should be match with that income also so in that case we actually do what actually do we do will each and every year with a similar amount of expenses will be debited written up okay that is there is a total five years we are using the fund so total that is 4,000 each and every year we return out from the statement of profit and loss account. If there is nothing actually said, if there is a no balance of capitalism, first we, the procedure is same, 
the first we have to return out from the capital reserve. If there is no capital reserve, then we have to go to the securities premium reserve. And after that, if there is a nothing said about in your question, so you have to return out from the statement of profit and loss account. So each and every year you have to fix amount of expenses you are return of not the whole amount that is 20,000 in a particular year because if you in a particular year you are return of 20,000 so that year loss will be more that is not its very good effect for your financial statements ok. So, that process is more reasonable and practical so you have to return of the things in a each and every year for something as you are generating the revenue from this fund each and year not the total 2 lakh income you are not generating in a particular year you are receiving the fund in a particular year but you are from this fund using this fund you are in actually generating your income each and every year something something so your expenses should be match with that income so that's why this installment method actually come and each year you are actually expenses you are giving that is also match with your income ok. Now, what is the next is fluctuating method. <coughs> what is fluctuating method? Now, see there is a total number of debenture holder debentures actually you are issuing that is 2000. Now, company's policies of redemption is their redemption also in installment that is from 2015-16 after 2015-16 at the last day that is 31st March 2016 they are actually redeem 500 debentures. So, from 2016-17 how many debentures will be there? 2016-17 there will be 1500 debenture. Again we are actually redeem 500 debentures. So, 2017-18 how much debentures will be there? That is 1000. So, again end of the year that is 30 months 2018 we are redeem 500 debentures. So, how much debentures will left that is 2018-19 there is a 500 debentures were left and their balance will be 500 again we are actually redeem which year that is 2018-19. Uh, sorry 2019-20. So, there is a 20 there is no debenture because 31st March 2020 this 500 we are actually redeem, but in the year 2015-16 there is a how much debenture we are using that is using of 2000. So, as per using of debenture we will actually calculate the return of right actually how the loss will be return of ok. So, first that preference will be give to that that is for 2000 that most weightage is here. Then next year there is a 1500 as per we will return of the losses. Now, next is 1000 just left. So, we will actually expense the same way. So, there we will actually make the ratio ok. We will actually make the ratio. So, what is will be the ratio will become that is if we take 20, 15, 10 and 5 then ratio will be 4 is 2, 3 is 2, 2 is 2, 1. So, and that ratio you have to may write up your losses ok, because first year weightage is more that is 4, second year is 3, third year is 2 and fourth year is 1 because fifth year you are just return actually redeem all the money all the debentures that year you are not using actually.
actually using the last up to the last what is the actually redemption date you do not know so total we actually with the by the ratio by as per their weightage we will actually as per ratio of their value <coughs> of debenture actually in your company you are using and that way you have to match with this you have to uh, write up your losses also okay you will better understand if we take a numerical or practical problem so just look how that will be happen first we will see the first method what we have done first we will see that then we will come to the installment method ok first we will see the general method suppose on first april two thousand eighteen x limited issued 20,000 20,000 10 percent debentures of rupees 100 each at a discount of 5 percent at a discount of 5 percent redeemable at a premium redeemable at a premium of 4 percent after 5 years after 5 years now it is decided to write of loss on issue of debenture it is decided to write of loss on issue of debenture loss on issue of debentures in the year end date in the year end date thirty first March two thousand nineteen thirty first March two thousand 19 okay so under 2019 <coughs> you have to redeem that so before that you have to write up the whole value of the debentures whole value of debentures mean whole value of losses and they said it has also it has also or it has following balances following balances what are the balances they give that is capital reserve balances they give capital reserve balance they given that is rupees one lakh. Then the given securities premium reserve balances, securities reserve balance that is fifty thousand 
rupees fifty thousand. Now whatever you, whatever you need to make, pass the journal entries for the issue of debentures and writing of loss. So here we will uh, just see the not issue of debentures. Uh, several times we actually know how what will be the journal for the issue of the debenture. Here we just will, would like to see whatever happened in, in the case of losses for journal we will need to pass. Now first we have to decide how much loss actually make when there is a issue of debentures by the company. Now here you can see there is a two side losses actually make. First time they actually make the losses when they actually issue the debentures at a discount of 5 percent. Total nominal value is 100. They are making issue actually 5 percent means there is a 5 rupees the price is 100 they are actually issuing as a price of 95. So, there is a 5 rupees loss they are making for each debenture. Total debenture is 20,000. So, there is a 20,000 multiplied by 5. So, that is be 1 lakh rupees they are lost at the time of issue at a discount. And we know and they also give the information that when redeemable at a premium of 4 percent. They actually issuing the debenture at a discount and they also redeem at a higher price that is they actually issue at a 100, but they actually though the nominal value of the debenture is 100, but they actually making payment that is 4 rupees higher, 4 percent means that is 4 rupees, so 104. So, that is also a loss for the company. And we know we actually whenever we issue the dimensions at that time we are actually whenever we make the channel at that time we actually use this and this loss we actually due at that time. So, that is also just loss you have to return of before the redemption period because as per companies act you know that is all the losses that is as per well for the redemption or for the issue you have to write off from your accounts before the redemption of total redemption of the total debentures. Okay. So, how can we and they also said there is a capital reserve of 1 lakh and securities premium reserve that is 50,000 that obviously you know how they said about the how they actually say the balances of this figure because we know first we will actually make up the losses from capital reserve, second from the securities premium reserve and if there anything left then we will actually return up from the statement of profit and loss account. Now, we will see what channel we have to pass. Now, first you see I have already told in the time of issuing of dementias, they make the loss of 5 rupees because discount is 5 percent. So, that is total of 1 lakh rupees that is also loss and again they loss making the losses when they redeem the debentures that is again the extra 4 rupees they are give to the debenture holder. So, there is a loss of 80 that is also loss for the company that is 80,000. So, total loss here is 1 lakh 80,000 that you figure out. Okay. So, how will you make up that? So, 31st March 2019 suppose we are actually because in 2019 you have to redeem the all the debenture shoulder value debenture shoulder actually investment you have to return back. Now, they are already in uh, in the problem you see there is already a capital reserve balance that is 1 lakh. So, first we have to debit the capital reserve capital reserve account debit that is 1 lakh 
still there is a total loss is uh, one lakh eighty thousand. Still there is eighty thousand left. So and we also the problem is that there is a securities premium reserve balance. How much securities premium reserve? Account debit, how much that is? Fifty thousand. So there is a balance is fifty thousand. So we cannot make more than that. We cannot write off from this account more than that. So still there is a thirty thousand left. But from we will actually return of that. That is statement of profit and loss account. That is debited also thirty thousand and total. Losses will carry it because at the time of issue we debited the total loss value. Now we will carry it in that because of right we are writing all the losses, loss on issue of debenture. That is one lakh eighty thousand. Okay. So that's the way you have to make the journal entry. So have you understood Sourodip and Saron? If there any problem, you can now ask me the question. Is there any query? You can ask me the question because this <coughs> return of discount or losses is very important as per your CBSC exam also. So is there any problem? You can ask me the. Question: Have you understood Saurabhi and Sayon? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you.